Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, this channel is just a hobby and I talk about anything and ev everything that I want to talk about. So sometimes, well, it's mostly beauty, but sometimes I also talk about like uh, travels and languages. And in this video, I am going to share with you my experience on being vaccinated in the States. So let's begin. You can be vaccinated in the States, whatever is your status. Whether you're a tourist visa, uh, whether you're just a tourist visiting there, or, you know, if, of course, if you're a resident there, you can definitely go there. Even if you don't have insurance like me, or like you're, if you're a tourist, of course, you don't have US insurance. That's okay. You can still go to any of the available pharmacies in your area and you can have you can be vaccinated. So for me, my case is a little bit different because I first got my vaccine. By the way, my vaccine is Janssen, so it's just one shot. So for me, it's different because I got my first vaccine here in the Philippines. And then I I was qualified for a booster and during that time I was already in the States so I decided to get the booster especially since Omicron was still new by on that time so so I decided to if if I could I'll just take the um, booster in the States so how did it go at first I didn't know if I if I can get vaccinated in the states this is in las vegas because i already got my first vaccine in the philippines so i know that i could get vaccinated in the states if it's my first vaccine but i couldn't but i didn't know if i can get the booster so i had so i asked the pharmacy if i can do it and they said i could so the so the process is they will give you a form that you will fill online and you will submit it online in the form you just have to fill in your name your ad your no not yeah your name your address your ethnicity and if you have insurance in insurance i just said no and then you submit it and then you print it and then you go to the pharmacy depending on the schedule that you have so i just went there and then they just verified it um they asked for my id so i just gave them my passport and then they didn't know they didn't know if they will issue me a card or if they will just add it to my existing um filipino vaccine vaccination card so what they ended up with because I was like the first case where so because I was the first person that had the same that had this case where I got my vaccine in a different country and then a booster in the states so it was their first time encountering me they never had like any anyone go in there just to get the vaccine so usually they already had their like US vaccination card but for me I had like a foreign card so they didn't know if they will issue me a new one or or not so what they ended up with since my vaccine is just a one shot they just ended up adding the name of the vaccinator here in my qc protector card and i'm not sure if that's even allowed but that's what they did because for this one i already have my record in the doh that i got my vaccine but for sure, they, I don't have the record that I have the booster in the DOH. I might have the record that I got a booster in the US. I'm not sure. I, I, I have no idea if I have like, I, if my name is on their database because they didn't issue me a card. So my only proof that I had like a booster is in here. I don't have like an online proof in the US that I have it because they didn't give me a link of like a proof because again, they didn't issue a card. So I'm not sure if hopefully there won't be any problem with them putting their name here. 
but but what what is important is that I already got my booster and if I ever need like a official documentation I can get my vaccination QR code in the DOH but only for the one for my first shot for the booster I don't have any like online proof just this one so yeah it's a little bit tricky but what's important is that I'm already boosted that's it that was my experience it's it's just sad that I don't have like a database online database regarding my booster and then I also don't have it in the Philippines because I didn't get it in the Philippines so yeah I just don't have like a proof official proof of my vaccination except for the photo and this one and that's it I would suggest that you just get your booster here in the Philippines if you can or or just get all of your shots in the US if you can but again there's nothing wrong with getting the booster in the states it's just that I don't have like a proof so yeah that was my experience nothing new it was it was so fast there was no line and then it was so quick and you can see in the video that the that my vaccine was like bleeding but that's not like the vaccine's fault that was like the vaccinator's fault because you know he just kept on talking so my my hand was bleeding and i didn't know like that was my first time ever to be to be like sh to be injected with so much blood so i was just like what the hell is this why is this happening why is there so much blood is does he know what he's doing and then anyway it was it was okay i didn't feel any after effects the day after i was i was expecting it to be strong because johnson is just a one-shot vaccine so I thought that it was going to be like strong and no, I didn't experience anything. But yeah, for the process of the vaccination itself, it was very smooth. And don't worry if you don't have an insurance or if you're a tourist, you can still go in CVS or any other pharmacies there and you can have you can be vaccinated, whether it be like your first vaccine or a booster. But that's it. That's gonna end this video. Probably my next video regarding travels and the US will be how will be my experience in going home to the Philippines. So watch out for that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.